called the biggest changes ever at the VA, now focusing solely on patient care. Well, the new secretary today announced the largest reorganization in the department's history just one day before Veterans Day. ABC News's Karen Travers has the details tonight from Washington. In some parts of the U.S., events are already underway to honor our nation's veterans. And here in Washington, the Veterans Affairs Department announced its highly anticipated game plan to improve service and care for the nation's 22 million veterans. Here's the VA secretary on CNN. We need to be more veteran-centric. We need to focus on veteran outcomes. The VA will establish what it calls a chief customer service officer who will report directly to the secretary. The department will also establish a single regional structure that brings together a wide range of services, including health care, loan centers, and other benefits. The goal is to streamline what's been called a clunky, confusing system that required multiple usernames and passwords. These reforms are the result of the embarrassing scandal that rocked the VA earlier this year. Reports that at dozens of facilities around the nation, veterans were waiting months for treatment and records were manipulated to hide the problems. A whistleblower even came forward to say that at the VA hospital in Phoenix, Arizona, some veterans may have died while awaiting care. McDonald was previously the CEO of Procter & Gamble. He's also a graduate of West Point and served five years in the Army. This is very personal. I have a lot of folks that I served with that I am really uh, uh, want to take care of in the very best way I can. The VA says its goal is to have this reorganization completed within a year. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington.